In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving the mean and range of other pairs. And after going through this video, you will be able to find the mean and range of other pairs easily. So, be sure you stay with me to the end of this video. Okay, so let's go into the details. Okay, let's say we are giving this other pairs. We are giving this other pairs to three. Okay. Five, four. We have zero three and we have four and one. We have to find the mean of these other pairs. Now the mean equals x values and the range equals y values. So these are x, these are y, these are x, these are y, these are x, these are y, these are x, these are y. So so find the domain. of this other pairs it will be the x values you arrange them in ascending order so the least value of x is zero okay after zero you have two after two we have four and five so this will be the domain of this other pairs whereas the range will be the y values you arrange them in a standard mode as well. So the y values, the least values here have it to be we have it to be one. We have three, three, the apparent y. So when a number is apparent to y, don't repeat it, just write it once. Just write one, three, and three. Just write one, three, just one of it. Then the last value there is four, and this will be the range of this or that pairs okay, let me give you a, a another problem to solve okay you have this set of other pairs you have three negative one okay you have two negative two okay you have zero two and lastly you have two and one Okay, so feel free to pause this video and see if you can figure this out, find the domain and range. Okay, so let's do it together. The domain of this other pair will be the x value. So remember this is our x, these are y, these are x, these are y, these are x, these are y, these are x, these are y. So domain the s values the least value of s value to be zero we have two okay two is apparent so i just take one of it and lastly we have three so this will be the domain of this other pairs whereas the range the range will be the y value so to start from the least value negative two okay we have negative one we have one and two and this will be the range of this other pairs so this is how you can figure out or find the main range of other pairs and with this we are coming to the end of the class i hope you something interesting if you need to channel share the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel for more videos you like share Comment on this video, tell me how you figure out what you've learned. If you seem to have any specific questions, ask feel free to be question. Uh, the comment section should be and I'm sure to give you a response. That's it for this class. Thanks for watching.